This lesson is part of the TI Inspire CX2 Technology Student course. In this session, you'll learn lots of shortcuts and editing tips to help you become more efficient and proficient. Let's start by creating a new document. Insert a calculator application. Suppose you have a simple equation to solve. You could navigate through the menus to find the solve command, or you could just type your equation in. 2x plus 3 over 5 equals x minus 4 over 2. Now, there is a fraction tool in the math templates. However, commonly used templates are also assigned shortcuts. Press Ctrl followed by the division key. Now, you could use the arrow keys to navigate here, or press Tab. Now that my equation has been entered, press CTRL followed by MENU. This is like a right mouse click on a computer. I want to select MATHS ACTIONS. Again I could arrow down, or just press the number aside to the MENU option. And then select SOLVE NUMERICALLY. TI INSPIRE automatically identifies the variable in our equation and provides an opportunity to input a domain for the solution and or a guess. Now I could navigate down to the OK button, but just like on a computer, it's quicker just to press ENTER on the keyboard. The appropriate command and syntax is created. Now all I need to do is press ENTER to execute the command. Now let's try a different type of an equation. I'll define g of x equal to x squared. I could use the menu and navigate to define or use the assigned equals key by pressing control followed by the mass template. Now before I press enter, try pressing control and menu again. Now right mouse click. Now I have the option to graph the function. Just press enter. On the left hand side is my calculator application and on the right is a graphs application. You'll see a little blue border around the graphs application indicating this is the current active window. Press CTRL and G for graph or tab to reveal the equation entry line. I'll insert another graph, 5x minus 6. The two graphs appear to intersect. Now there are a couple of ways to find the points of intersection. Notice that the graphs application is still highlighted. To swap across to the calculator application, I could move the mouse and click, or press Control Tab, which is just like Alt Tab on a PC, to switch focus between windows. If the graphs intersect, that means f of x equals g of x. Now, I can recall these using the variable menu. Then right click, select Maths Actions, and then select Solve Numerically. So the graphs intersect when x equals 2, but the graphs appear to have two points of intersection. Now, another great editing tip is to copy and paste. So I'll arrow up to the previous command. I could press Ctrl plus C to copy, and Ctrl and V to paste, but in this environment I can be even more efficient and just press ENTER on the previous command. The second solution seems to be to the right of 2. So I can put in a domain constraint to say given that x is greater than 2. Then press ENTER. So x equals 3 is another solution. I've used function notation for this, so if I want to determine the corresponding y values, I can just evaluate g of 2 and g of 3, and they give me the corresponding y values. I could also use the graph to check. Now I want to see the graph on a full screen. Press the document key, select page layout, and you'll see an option to ungroup applications. 
But notice next to it in the parentheses it says control plus six. Let me just escape out of this menu and press control six. The calculator application is now full screen, but notice an additional tab has been added to my document. So press control and right arrow and there we have the graph application in full screen. Press menu. Now I could select analyze and then points of intersection, but I could also use the geometry tool. Points and lines, intersection point. Select the first graph, select the second graph, and there's my points of intersection. I can even move the graphs and the points of intersection will automatically update. To put the graphs back to their previous definitions, Control Z or Control Escape, that's our undo. Finally, you could check a table of values. Press Control and T to toggle on a table of values. I can only see one function here. I could make the columns a little bit narrower or use the same technique as before. Control and 6. Navigate to the table and we can see the points of intersection. As you can see, there are so many shortcuts. You should also check out our top 10 videos on navigation and keyboard shortcuts or download the huge list of shortcuts from the Texas Instruments website. There's a link in the description below. That's all for this session. Be sure to check out our other videos in this series. Thanks for watching.